Hear me now, Jesse. You just keep low for a while. Let things cool off. Plan to, Frank. When you get to Omaha, give my love to Z. Yeah, we'll do. learn how to use them if we are to shoot Indians. Why? Why learn? Why must you shoot Indians? Because, uh... Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, you think I speak of India Indians, but no, 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 no. Not India Indians. It is American Indians. You want to kill them? think they have been killed enough already? Pardon? Have they not been killed and starved and made miserable by the people who invaded their country? Just as my own countrymen were invaded by the British? No. I do not blame the Indian for defending his homeland. You will please put the gun away. Point well taken, Perspetu. I do hope, however, you intend no grave reflection upon the British. We do, after all, bespeak a civilized society throughout the world, whereas these Americans... If I... Shovel. Are dead, chicken. No, leg. If I... Are dead, chicken. No, no. If I... Excuse me, sir. I should like one of your local pheasants, uh, with a little touch of sage, perhaps. We can all share. Attack, chicken! It is chicken, monsieur. But by the look of it, it must have had a long and difficult life. And quite an unpleasant death. We got here. Mister, I think you and me got something to settle up. You are? Of course not. Take your pick. Do I assume here that you demand satisfaction over our encounter last evening? kind of you. But my servant has brought along several weapons. I'm certain one of them will do. We'll settle this at the next stop, then. Stop? I have no intention of stopping anywhere. If you wish to engage in a duel, sir, I see no reason why we can't settle the matter here and now. On the move, as it were. Monsieur, tell him it was a mistake. You must. Tell him. What's going on here? Keep out of this. You don't talk to me like that. <laughs> Not to worry, sir. It's all right. Although we intend to settle a certain matter here, we have no intention of delaying this train. As for two, my weapon, if you please. Mister, I don't know who you are, but anybody puts up a gun at Jesse James, it's a dead man. Oh? I take it, sir, you are proficient in small arms fire? He could take you blindfolded at 50 yards. <sighs> oh, 
Phileas. You talk too much. Now let's get started. No. Okay, everybody out. Now out along the next right. car, you two ladies. Out into the next car. Out. 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 Gentlemen, if you will please to stand back to back in the middle of the car. Count to five. At the count of five, each man will start to the far end of the car where you're turning far. Understand? Yeah, let's get at it. May the best man win, whichever body falls first, that body be removed from the body of the train. Ready, gentlemen? Ready. I'm ready. One. Two. Three. Short sighted, considering that they are present. See down. There's an army fort up ahead. If we can signal them, we have a chance. Please do. We've got to reach the engineer. Have him blast the steam whistle. Somebody's got to crawl up the locomotive. Crawl on top of the carriages. I shall undertake that at once. No, monsieur, forgive me if I have said to myself, but it is I, monsieur, that have the acrobatic experience. You will not deny this, no? Bon, I go at once. Very good.
What the devil? Oh, listen! Don't you hear? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 